Hello everyone. I thought I'd do the same with the stereoscope with the uh, Constellation Omega from 1969. The chronometer's caliber 751. Let me see if I can get that straight. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can get that on here. It's like entering another world. <laughs> you can see the silver dial. The Omega logo. Let me see if I can just get that. Really nice. Okay, I got now a twice the magnification. First focused on the loom, on the hands. And then I'll put it on the... Very nice. Now, for one reason or the other, it's hard to get the bezel uh, at once. I think that has to do with uh, gold being a bit shiny. But have a look at the 12 o'clock hour marker here. You can actually see how the black onyx stones are, I think, clicked or something into place by these blocks at the top. Looks actually pretty good. You can see it is a silver dial. And uh, it really is a piece of work. I mean, in these years, 1969, uh, you know, watches were made by hand for, uh, for about half or 30%. So not as all mechanical as it is today. Let me check if I can find one or two more details and we'll call it a day for the Omega. And lastly, I'm going to give you a look on the Constellation logo, if I can find it. There we are. These are the stars. Yeah, it's kind of hard because, you know, I have to keep it like this and it will move so i might take a picture of it anyway great watch great specs and my personal one of my favorite dress watches since it's a monday it says ma the 10th maandag which in dutch is moon day don't worry about the little scar that just came from the moving anyway um 1969 caliber 751 okay guys ciao